a sound editor superior to Audacity? Let's talk about that. I'm just kidding. That was stupid. Hang on. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. This one's going to be different, clearly, because I'm at the computer and you're looking at my screen right now. So today we're going to be talking about this sound editor, WavePad. WavePad is a really, really good sound editor and, in my opinion, much more superior to Audacity. It seems that another uh, a lot of people don't know about WavePad because uh, everybody uses Audacity, but look at this. So Audacity just looks so old and like confusing. Uh, I mean, like I guess there's a few things here that I it, it makes sense, but let me show you WavePad. So first, you can just type in WavePad, and you're gonna want to look for uh, nch.com because all these other ones, who knows what those are. And here it is. It's here. It's free. Um, and I think there might be a trial. Uh, and then you have to like re-download it. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But the video we're going to be uh, watching and listening to is going to be this one right here. So this was from a recent investigation. And I just want to say, before you do an EVP, let the other investigators know that you're about to record an EVP. So everybody can stay quiet, everybody stay still. You don't want anybody moving. You don't want anybody talking or saying anything, especially whispering. I always tell my investigators, if you have to say something, speak up. Because if you're whispering, you can contaminate the EVP and then you would make that whole file there unusable and you can't use that EVP. Uh, you want to do it in a fairly quiet area. You can kind of hear cars in this one, but that's another reason we investigate at night is so we have less contamination and you uh, really want to make sure everybody just stays still. You don't hear any brushes or anything moving. When you speak, it's better if you have one person talking one person asking the questions and you want to keep like a 30 second or 20 second before the question and after the question just so you can give enough space in the time there so they have time to respond to you you really want the investigators to know that one person is asking a question you don't want to have somebody ask a question and someone immediately ask another question or have somebody talk over you so this is the Pecan Grove Cemetery. Uh, this is the last one we just did. So let's go ahead and listen to this EVP. Is that one right here? Yeah. All right, we're gonna listen to that again, raw. Is that one right here? Yeah. So you can kind of hear something. I can hear it pretty clear. I've been doing this for a while. There's different ways you can listen for EVPs. There's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like you have to listen to the back noise, like how you have a foreground, a midground, and a background. You want to kind of like listen to the background of the video. If you listen to the crickets. Is that one right here? So if you listen to the crickets, you're like following that line, that constant chirp, 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 chirp. Listen to that, and if you hear a break in that line somewhere, then that's how you know you have an EVP. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> so what you can do is you can just go to your files. Let's find that pecan grove. So I'm not going to put it in there because it's already in here, but you can just drag and drop these into here and it'll convert it into a wave. So this is what WavePad looks like. I'm actually going to get rid of this and we'll talk about this here in a second. So this is the file. Is that one right here? So what's going on is you can listen. Uh, you have to know the voices of your investigators. If you don't know that good enough, then you're gonna have a hard time debunking. 
So let's listen to this again. So right here, you can hear Terry. She's talking here. Uh, I don't know what she's saying, but that is definitely a human voice. She's saying something. And clearly this is Cam saying something. That one right here. So we have two human voices. And right after this is another voice. And you want to do it. You want to. So you want to record or pull this ahead forward and backwards about 20 seconds before the voice because it like prepares your ears to listen it's not right away so what's cool about this is we can just copy this we'll come down here and we're just gonna paste it here so if you have a huge investigation and you just want to select like a small part you just pull that out yank it and drop it into a new file the first thing we're going to do is we're going to amplify this and I think that's actually good enough this is a pretty good EVP we're going to do noise reduction and we're going to do this spectral subtraction and we're going to go to preset and click uh, click voice Now it's very, very fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click speed change, not speed and pitch change, and not pitch speed profile, speed change. If you click any of those other ones, it's just gonna mess up your, your EVP. So when you first click that, it's gonna automatically uh, slow it down a little bit for you and then you could just adjust it and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a noise reduction just a little more we're gonna do voice again now you have like this weird like woo 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 kind of noise um, from the from the noise reduction but you can tell that this is a pretty clear intelligent EVP and the voice here is saying I'm here if you haven't gathered that already by how many times we listen to it so we have a direct response from cam asking if somebody's here is that one right here yes yeah, so he's asking if let's go back to the actual video real quick So he's looking. So. He's looking at this grave right here and asking if that's one right there. And there's this voice. One right here. Right after that says, I'm here. Now, the ideal thing would be to look at the name and seeing if it is a female. Uh, but we, we couldn't hear this in real time, so he didn't check. But. If that's a female, that only further uh, confirms what we're what we're hearing. Now, EVPs can be a little wild sometimes. Sometimes there's some where you have to play it back, and uh, like you'll have to reverse it because they speak in reverse for some reason. There's just so many types of EVPs. Some of them are played in reverse. Some of them are so quiet. What you want to do with the quieter ones is you want to listen for the letters instead of an actual word. What you want to do with the quieter ones is you want to listen to the, for the letters to try to gather the word instead of listening for the actual word straight out. If you're just listening to that bass line like humming noise. Copy. So right here would be our bass line. You just hear like this, this kind of white noise noise. And you would want to listen along that and then you'll hear something break. This one's pretty obvious. So what's going on in this one is we're at a residential investigation. And this is my brother saying copy. Copy. But I never responded to this, but there's this doppler, doppelganger like voice that says copy that. And it sounds a lot like me but we know for sure that this isn't me speaking. 
if you're confused, I understand. <laughs> but uh, we can press view and we'll press wave. Uh, right here, frequency view. And we're gonna pull it up. So this will actually tell, if it, tell us if this is a human or not. So this is my brother's voice right here. You can see it's kind of put together and usually human voices touch the ground, like the bottom part. And you can even see over here with this blue, um, I don't know, thing here. It tells you the frequency range. It, it tells you everything, like how this is speaking. And then you can see here that the spirit voice Be is kind of there, but not really. It's kind of like one or two lines. And then we also have this other noise here, which I think is really just a click. Yeah, it is just a click. But there's also this one here, the that. And it stays low to the ground. Sometimes they're really low, sometimes they're up high, but they're not touching the ground. And this is usually what a spirit voice would look like. And they're on this really like low or uh, frequency. It's just on a completely different level than what we're talking. And it's strange, but this is very helpful. This is something Audacity, as far as I know, doesn't have. So that concludes the video. I'm gonna leave the link for WavePad in the description below. And if you go check it out for yourself. Try the free version, and if you really like it, then I really do recommend buying this, you know, helping them out, giving them some money. This is a, a really good audio editor, and I've used this, I've used this forever. Like, this is my, my go-to. You can also get an app that is WavePad as well for really quick, like, on-the-go editing. If, if you just need to look at something real quick, and it, it's helped me out quite a bit. But go ahead and check out WavePad. This video is not sponsored. That would be so cool if it was sponsored by WavePad. But let me know what you think. If you have any questions about recording EVPs or how to edit EVPs, I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy hunting. All right, so this is a test recording, and I'm just going to play this. Just going to make sure everything's working. Right here? Awesome. All right, now I'm going to stop that and I'm going to stop the test recording. We're going to see if this works.